What happens when you type a URL in the browser and press enter? For example, if you type a path in the browser like www.cloud.com. A browser is a local program like Chrome or Firefox that is running on your local computer. When you click on the browser icon, the operating system loads the program like Chrome or Firefox. It opens a window which is locally hosted on your desktop. After you enter the website name in the URL and when you hit enter after entering the URL, for example, www.cloud.com in the browser, it has to translate the URL to the IP address. Servers communicate with IP address and not a domain name, that is why the domain name needs to be translated. A DNS or domain name system server is used to translate the IP to host name. For example, www.cloud.com is translated to 10.9.8.7 by the DNS server. The browser searches for the IP address translation in the DNS cache of the browser. If it does not find it in the browser cache then it looks up the operating system and checks the host's file of the local computer and then the operating system cache. If it does not find it in the operating system cache then it looks up at the ISP or internet service provider. When it is able to translate the DNS name to DNS IP. Your browser knows that it has to send packets to the domain name, www.cloud.com. The URL in, http, cloud.com forward slash homepage can be split into three parts. Which is the protocol or schema which is the HTTP protocol, a domain name which is cloud.com, and a path, which is homepage. In order to establish a connection between the browser and the remote server. First it has to establish a connection with a three-way handshake. TCP's three-way handshaking technique is often referred to as SIN SIN ACK because there are three messages transmitted by TCP to negotiate and start a TCP session between two computers. SIN is for synchronized. SIN ACK for synchronized acknowledged. ACK for acknowledged. Once the TCP session has been established, then both sides now know that the other side exists and are trying to communicate with each other. The HTTP command is sent over the connection that is established with a TCP protocol. When you type HTTPS, cloud.com into your browser the first thing that happens is a domain name server, DNS, matches HTTPS colon slash slash cloud.com to an IP address. Then, the browser sends an HTTP request to the server, and the server sends back an HTTP response. The server is going to take the request that came in, looks up the domain name it was requested for and the resource that was requested. And the program on the remote website is going to evaluate it. Example like Apache, Microsoft Inks, PHP the browser begins rendering the HTML on the page while also requesting any additional resources such as CSS, JavaScript, images, etc. Each subsequent request completes a request slash response cycle and is rendered in turn by the browser. Then once the page is loaded some sites will make further asynchronous requests. Let us see what happens again. 1. You enter a URL into a web browser. 2. The browser looks up the IP address for the domain name via DNS. 3. The browser sends a HTTP request to the server. 4. The server sends back a HTTP response. 5. The browser begins rendering the HTML. 6. The browser sends requests for additional objects embedded in HTML, images, CSS, JavaScript, and repeats steps 3 to 5. Once the page is loaded, the browser sends further async requests as needed.